Record. There we go. everybody welcome to the loud spot i'm your host sebastian cosby right out of oklahoma city once again we have our co-host sam rockowitz here what's up sam what's going on tonight hey, what's up man not much we uh have silenced the voice with us tonight which is awesome would you guys like to introduce yourselves i am i'm mario uh you want to go with me fish i'm the lead guitarist of the band okay and we got Mark's still off the phone, and what does Mark do again for you guys? Mark is a rhythm guitarist. Rhythm guitarist, and what does Gabriel do? He's a uh, vocalist. He's the a vocalist. That's awesome. You guys, so when I first heard... <laughs> yeah, his phone's cutting out just a little bit there. But that's okay, we'll get through it still. Maybe he can turn his Wi-Fi off and on again. <laughs> Best kind of have uh, technical difficulties, huh? Yeah, a little bit of technical difficulties, not too bad. We heard we heard that, so that's awesome. So the first time I heard your band, uh, I, you guys, I mean, it's the kind of metal that I most like. It's that kind of rock. You guys all look pretty young too. How old are you guys? Uh, I'm 22. Okay. Gabe, 26, and Mark, 30. Okay. Almost 30, I think. Yeah, almost 30. Okay, so the biggest question, I think that Sam knows what the biggest question is. You know what the biggest question is, Sam? No? What's up with the, what's up with the drummer? Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, he's, a, he's like, I think 10 now. Yeah, he's a 10-year-old kid. Yeah. What's the story uh, there? Like, how did that happen? Well, uh, a couple years ago, we were, uh, I was on Instagram, and I came across this little drummer kid and he's actually commented on one of our posts telling us that he's a huge fan of our band and he wants to cover some of our songs and he was asking permission to cover some of them and we're like yeah hell yeah go ahead I, was, I looked at his page and it was a seven-year-old kid like at the time he was seven and he was rocking out to like uh acdc slipknot <laughs> and like all these other fucking heavy ass bands and like it was crazy that he was could actually play that shit and uh, and uh yeah, ever since then, he's just, like, been a fan of us. And then, cut, skip forward a couple of years, uh, two years later, and we're looking for a drummer, and he, like, uh, we had a connection with this other guy that was in the band. He was actually friends with uh, his instructor. <clears throat> so they knew each other, and at the time, we just lost the drummer, and he couldn't, uh, our current, or the drummer at the time couldn't make it, so he got uh, the kid to fill in for us at the fair, because... We were playing the Arizona State Fair. So how, how long ago so was that? The first time he played with us was at the State Fair. What year was that? Or how long ago uh, was that? It was last year, actually. I was going to say, did right? you that year and the year before that? Yeah, well, we played the State Fair three years in a row. But yeah. the first time Record played with us was uh, the 2019. Yeah, and he learned the songs within, like, a week. Like, faster than, like, i really seen anybody learn <laughs> our songs. <laughs> that is Dude, I, look, I've been playing the drums for, like, uh, let's see, since 1998, so 22 years, and I suck, man. Like, compared to him, I'm just horrible. <laughs> I'm horrible. But, look, we only have a 45-minute show. Um, I don't know whether we're going to play all the songs, because I think we're going to enjoy our conversations. But I do want to start this off with the songs that you wanted me to play first. I would have picked a different song, but I haven't really heard this song, so I might have picked this song, too, after I hear it. But yours, the, the, two, the three songs I've heard of yours are killers the recording quality is awesome for being young i thought you guys would have been a little younger having a nine-year-old or ten-year-old drummer um but you know you're not you're you guys are old men now so yeah <laughs> this song is called <laughs> this song is called Anx anxiety we got silence the voice exclusive interview today on the loud spot so let's start this show off with anxiety and by the way guys when we play this song we can't really hear each other talk okay Got it. All right, All right. here we go.
que crazy is it hard for you guys to like play shows or like get into like because i'm sure there's like bars that want you guys to come play can, i mean can he come in and play being 10 years old well they do allow him to play in there but once he uh once pretty much once our set is over um he pretty much that's that's like that's pretty much it for he has to for bounce out right what do you think sam but, i've never heard um, that song before I've heard this song before. Oh, you heard that song? Oh, did you hear all their songs before? Oh, I listen to like everything on their Spotify. <laughs> Dizzy or Al, you're better than I am. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> oh, dude, Victimize is sick. Uh, I question about dude, Victimize. Thank you. Is there a new album following that? Uh, We're not working on an album right now. We're working on singles right now. Yeah, so, okay. it's uh, Victimize was working. actually... Victimize was actually um, a bonus track on the uh, on the EP that we just released not too long ago. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That was Sam. Sam was like, play that song. I'm like, they didn't send me that song. <laughs> they sent me these other songs. It's actually, uh, yeah, it's, we sent it. It's called Circles, but it's now called Victimize. So, was that, who changed that name? Uh, all of us kind of, we just kind of agreed on it, being called Victimize. Okay, you were saying earlier that your producer sometimes changes your songs. <laughs> uh, no, no. Uh, when we're in the studio, we we already have like when we when we go to the studio with skeletons of songs, we have them just named just so we could. Oh, just your file, just your file names, just for you guys, just to at home or whatever. Right. Yeah, but then right. once we yeah. finish writing the song, we have to like change the name. Like we have to figure out like 
Because there's no reason to be calling it circles, you know? Yeah, I, I, I label my song, song one, song two, <laughs> song three. But doing it your way is probably a little better than my way. <laughs> yeah. I said look at like the first couple lines of the chorus, that's the song title, or the working title at least. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So my favorite song by you guys is the first song. Uh, honestly? Go ahead. Oh, what was that? No, go ahead. No, uh, Victimize is our, one of the oldest songs we have. Like, it's probably the first song we ever wrote as a band, like, collect, like, yeah. the whole band we wrote. We so just never really released like, it. <laughs> how, long, yeah. how long have you guys been a band for? Uh, five years or more, maybe. And my thing was six, actually. Oh, yeah, really? About six years. That's a, so. You guys, you guys play. Um, you guys are played on the radio out there. Are you guys played on the radio out there in Arizona? Uh, yeah. Like they rock you guys, right? Uh, we. Go ahead. Uh, we we played on the uh, radio a couple of times. Uh, like randomly here and there, they'll just showcase the song because we uh. So just show our song off again, because like we won a contest back in uh, 2019. So here, from here and there, they'll just show our song again, remembering like the champions of the, the contest and stuff. I think it was 2018, actually, we did that contest. It was like the end oh, yeah, of 2018. Yeah, 2018, never mind, 2018. Yeah, it was a <laughs> Play the old contest was 2018, but we had a song play that we wrote for their, their jingle. We wrote their jingle that played all 2019. That is so... I'm surprised you guys aren't famous. I'm like, sound like chewed, blown up, big. Your music is just... I mean, you gotta have a huge fan base. You would think. Our, our fan base is in Australia and the Philippines and oh, yeah, that's all how... other places. Yeah. <laughs> like, really? My song was on rotation for a month straight in Australia. Like, my inheritance is on... For like a whole month, is on, on the number one radio station just playing... And they want us to come out there, but like we have no way out there yet. Right. Yeah. Are they not? Are they? Are you guys not monetized to where they're paying you guys to play your music? Uh, we're monetized out there. Mark, Mark has. Mark, uh, well, if Mark was here, he would tell you all about it. Okay. He's the one who handles all like the financial stuff about it. Okay. Yeah. Mark's the lead singer who is not able to connect right now because he's at work and he has to manage some people and be the boss man. So. Yeah. That's I want exactly why he handles the money because he's he's. <laughs> is he is he is he is he the one that's about thirty years old? Is he the oldest one? Yeah, he's yeah. the oldest one. Well, that makes sense then. Uh, running out of time. I don't know what that means. I just got to so sign you, you move the. How was it opening for War of Ages? There you go. Oh, that's oh. that was sick, dude. That was awesome. It was like it was literally like a dream come true for me personally because uh, I've been li I was listening to War of Ages like back in like my freshman year of high school. So I was like, I was you guys get your idols for that. Pretty much, yeah. That's awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> it was thick meeting them too. They're, they're really chill guys too. They're like really friendly and yeah. They're really, they, were, they, they were they were they were all there acting like they were like this shit. You know, they were actually interacting with us and talking to us and. That is awesome, guys. I want to go ahead and play. We already only have 30 minutes. Uh, I want to play Insanity right now. This is my favorite song by Silence the Voice. This song just kicks ass, dudes. I freaking love it. So Thank you. We're going to play, play it right now. All right, here we go.
love that song. And you know my favorite, my favorite word that your vocalist says is at the end where he says, it's business as usual. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I like that part, but I like when he says I'm, business as usual. I don't know. It's awesome. <laughs> I feel like I wanted to do something different because like the, you know, just with the choruses, um, normally the line was, you know, you pay with your soul, um, but it's nothing personal. Uh -huh. Um, I felt like, you know, it was more of like, you know, how when, you know, when people say like, um, like, oh, it's nothing personal. It's just business. Right. I feel like, I feel like that's how, I feel like that's how it is. Like when it's, um, it's when, you know, when it's involved with things that drive people pretty much insane, like, you know, as far as like money, mm -hmm. um, as far as like love situations where it's like, it's nothing personal. It's just business. Like I'm doing yep. what I want to, I need to do to yep. get what I want. And I Sorry. love, I absolutely, absolutely love that line. You know, that song, I love that song because, uh, that's how we got somebody to bust their head at a show. Like they yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that song, we got the people, they, they got riled up and like, it was like a fucking wall of death and his head <laughs> busted open. Like he got a concussion. There was blood everywhere, but it was crazy. And the run to the ER. Jesus Christ. Oh my yeah. God. So what's, what, I guess, uh, when, like, do you guys have shows lined up? Even though COVID, it's like, I know I was talking to Sam earlier, and weren't you saying, like, that Louisiana is still pretty much shut down, right? Oh, dude, we haven't had a show here since before COVID started. The bars are still closed. It's insane. So, are you guys able to play concerts, or how is that working out? Uh, we haven't, we're not able to play any concerts right now. I mean, there are show, some shows going on locally, but a lot of the people that are playing those shows are getting, like, a lot of shit thrown at them for doing it. Yeah. So yeah. like, we got to keep ourselves safe from like getting into that crowd where like, we could lose a lot of fans for doing that, you know? Yeah, you don't want to yeah. do that. About like staying safe and staying healthy. So like, if you if you try to play a show, you just get like blacklisted here. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, I've listened a lot in the metal community. Like a lot of people like, if they'll see a show going on, they'll shit on everybody who went there and all the bands involved. Yeah, that's how, it's yeah crazy, so you just got to be careful with something. You just got to be careful with something like that. Um, like, we actually have um, more. a show coming up in October that uh, it's more it's more going to be uh, recorded, and then and it's going to be sent out later. So we're actually going through all of the uh, safety features and functions of, like, um, allowing just oh, one shit. band Perfect. at a time and <laughs> doing everything. So... Uh, like play their show, but obviously we're still gonna put in, um, keep six feet apart and wearing our face mask. Right. But just like one one band's gonna go in, so they they can play their play their stuff, and then after the recording is gonna be done, we're just gonna load out, switch out, and everything, so that way we can still practice the safe distance. That um, that's really only how you can do it nowadays until everything opens back up. Right. But right. that's kind of what we got going on in October for the, what was it, the suicide awareness for Metal, uh, uh, yeah. metal United? Yeah, Metal United yeah. against teen bullying and suicide awareness, which is, that's pretty much what the band is about anyways. Like, that's what our whole band is based on. So that's why we, we like to play shows that are like that. That's awesome, guys. I mean, that's, so do you have a website that people that are listening to the podcast can go to and go check out and, you know, Besides just going to like iTunes or, or Spotify to, to buy your music, do you guys have an actual website? I'm pretty sure it's under maintenance right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, it, it, it is there. It's just, it's always, um, always just uh, trying to upgrade it and better it each and every day. Right. So like, I mean, you just go to www.silencethevoiceofficial.com and it has everything like from our music to our music videos to bios nice. to little blogs that we have to having our EPK available set up on there. Uh, so it's available to see, but it's not completely finished. Uh, okay. We, what I want to do is just get the remainder of like, the band's bio to talk about each of ourselves and everything that we've grown up and why we're into music and posting it up on there. And then just getting like podcasts like this, like um, uh -huh. interviews, anything that we have, available up there like a link that they can click to and check everything out check you guys out check us out and kind of go from there that's awesome man i like literally have a friend named jason who lives here and i'm in oklahoma city he lives down the street from me 
And I was like, dude, you gotta check out this band that, that, that sent me their music. And he was like, what? And he, it's like, literally, it's his favorite style of music. So when I told him I was doing this podcast, he's he finally was like, well, I guess I'll have to check that one out. Because <laughs> he, you know, he doesn't, he, when, he's, when, when he's your friend, he's like, whatever, dude, I'll hear it, one, I'll hear it some, someday. So, but no, he's, he's, he's excited to hear this one. So I can't wait to send it to him. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to play devil in you, which Mario told me was one of his favorite songs when I called him on the phone. What was that? I, I called you earlier was it this week, I think. Yeah. On, to think. on the Facebook, on the Facebook thing. And then I called you today and you didn't want to answer cause it was an Oklahoma city number. <laughs> 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 so anyways, here is devil in you. And once a bit, once again, this band is called silence the voice dear out of Phoenix, Arizona. An awesome band. Everyone really should download their music and buy it because they're one of my favorites. So, uh, Devil in You, here we go. <laughs> I cannot help but smile when I hear that song. 
<laughs> like, it's so good. <laughs> I, I laugh like I'm laughing. Not I'm laughing. I'm laughing because it's so good that I'm impressed. I'm like, man, fuck these dudes. These dudes are freaking awesome, man. You like it's like it's a good, it's a positive vibe. <laughs> Thank you, man. You no know, lie, like listening to you guys' Spotify page, I actually got irrationally angry. I'm like, why is Gabe so much better than me? This is ridiculous. <laughs> Why are you lying? <laughs> yeah. I, I, How long have you been doing vocals, man? He's not- um, well, actually, oddly enough, I vocals were the least amount of time I've spent in music. Like, I've done piano since I was three, guitar oh, wow. since I was ten. Uh, vocals, I actually started doing, I think, like, maybe like sophomore year in my high school, which was about, like, 2011. So it would be, like, maybe, like, nine years now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, Gabe is actually the most talented in this band, probably, because he's the one that plays the most instruments. He <laughs> plays the sax, he plays the drums. That so so Mark so does Mark do all the screaming and the singing, or some of that Gabe also? Uh, that's well, in the Gabe. in the recording, yeah, it's all it's all me. In live shows, though, Mark does oh. do some of the the screaming and the. Some of the background. Oh, so you do. So you do the singing. I, I got it confused. So you are the main singer, right? Okay, okay, okay. And Mark is the second guitarist. Yeah. Okay. He only does the backing vocals live. Okay, I got you. I got you. I, got, I had for some reason I had it confused. I had it mixed around. Okay, well, glad we got that fixed up. So yeah, so who writes the lyrics? Yeah, who writes the lyrics? Good question. Um, uh, we all kind of we all kind of do. do. Um, we all put our little you know, input in, and then sometimes, like uh, like for example, like um, sometimes it'll just be on like on a whim. Sometimes we'll just mm-hmm. go into the studio, like just like feeling a certain way, or you know, having an idea in our heads, and uh, we'll just we'll pretty much like uh, like for example with uh, with Dark Heart, uh, our song Dark Heart, um, Fish and Mark actually went in. Uh, we did all, none of us had anything planned, anything ready. They started laying down the tracks. Uh, I just went in there and it was just, we were all feeling like a certain way toward somebody we knew. And, uh, we went in there with full anger. So I was just yeah. saying, <laughs> <laughs> Pure hatred powered the <laughs> So do you yeah. guys, do you guys, what do you guys want to play next? Do you want to play, let's we played anxiety. We played insanity. We played devil in you. We played barricades, so we got circles. Oh no, we did we play? Was that the last song, barricades? We didn't play barricades. We haven't played barricades. We got barricades, circles, and condemned. Right. Right. Yeah. Which one do you guys want to do next? We only got like fifteen minutes left. Forty-five minutes goes by super fast. Well, uh, well, since Sam, that's his favorite song, is victimized. Play circles because circles is victimized. Oh. It's, uh, yeah, that's called please. victimized. But now they tell us. <laughs> <laughs> now, they, now they tell us alright well Sam this is your favorite song and this song it's not called Circles it's called Victimized but on the mp3 files you guys sent me it's called Circles which I think you might have yeah. mentioned that earlier but I was doing you know paying attention to my podcasting and not really listening to that part of it so alright we're gonna, we're gonna play uh, uh, what's it called again Victimized Victimized Victimized, Victim- 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 We're going to play Victimized right now. Here we go.
sick. Dude, I want to just do like a mic drop and throw my microphone against the wall. Like, dude, do this. I want to just like, do we need to say anything? <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta see. I I have to see one of your music videos. I just you know I I, I want to. I want to see you singing, man. Cause you. I mean, I do. You guys just have a bunch of energy. Like you just do. You just go hard and just get the crowd all pumped up. Dude, that's actually the reason. That's the, pretty much the one of the reasons why we won the uh, the Playdio contest was because stage they were presence, like, stage presence. They were very like they were very unbalanced, like very like uh, you know like just back and forth between like the you know the last bands that were on. Um, but usually like we do with every show that we, you know, that we play, just, we just go all out, like on going to the crowds, you, have you know, to. just, uh, just build energy, you know, bring everyone together type deal. And, uh, yeah. it's, it's so much fun. It's, it's so hard to put into words. I, I was in a band one time. I forgot the band's name was, but it was out of Sacramento, California. And we played it. We played a show and everyone was just standing there like playing their instruments. And I was, I'm a drummer, but for this band, I was a screamer and it was like, these guys are just standing there, so I start like running all over the place, look like a freaking, probably weirdo, but I was trying to get yeah. people doing stuff, you know, and the rest of the band was just like, standing there like, do, 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 Yeah, do. our band, we are all about, uh, like the energetic litness of the show, like, we love to party, like, we love to go all out on stage, like, I remember, uh, growing up, watching all these other bands, like, uh, I was, I think uh, Kiss is one of them that I watched. Like they're crazy on stage with the fucking guns and shit. Yeah. And like yeah. I remember watching them because my grandpa would watch them. He would put them uh, play their cassette. Nice. They had a cassette. It was like one of their world tours, and I would watch it all the time. I would imagine like I want to be that. I want to be up there fucking in space, playing, running around, <laughs> fucking licking guitars and shit, and fucking going all crazy. Yeah. And that's like one of my biggest inspirations. Like, dude, it's so like it's... bands like that. They used to go crazy like that. Like yep. people these days. A lot of bands we play with, they ain't like that no more. They ain't energetic. They just mostly just stand around and play their instrument and like Dude, go through the motions and they leave. That's so boring like, to watch. Yeah, but, when when you uh, go you to see have a showmanship, you gotta like yeah, you do. Point, anyone's ever gonna remember you if you leave something for them to remember. If you're just standing there, if you're just standing there and you're playing like some heavy ass shit like you guys are doing, but you're just standing there playing your instruments. You want to go see a show. You want to go to a concert. You want to see people rock out. You know what I'm saying? Like you. You want to see a lot. You want to see them get crazy because when you get crazy, it pumps up the crowd. The crowd gets crazy. Next, you know, everyone's online downloading all your music because you just gave them one hell of a show. Right. You know, get the mosh pit going. <laughs> I know. I felt so bad. That reminds me of that play you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I felt so bad because, like, during our songs, it's like uh, it, was, it was actually on the on the like, Holbert called me out on it. Um, the guy on the radio. Freaking, he was saying, like, uh, pretty much it was during one of our songs that we played there. Uh -huh. And these two girls were on their phones. Like, everybody was, like, bobbing their heads and, you know, all this stuff. And these two girls were, like, on in front of the bar, like, on their phones and stuff. And, I'm, you know, I just, I just got caught up in the moment. I don't know how else to explain it. <laughs> but I was, like, singing, like, right to them. Like, I was, like, yeah. pretty much all in their faces. Yeah. And, uh, like, during, like... As like the instrumental part came along, I just literally grabbed, just picked up the mic and just was like, "Get off your phone!" <laughs> <laughs> he, just called, <laughs> he just called him out. That's but a... it turns out they were buying shows, to, buying tickets, you know, buying oh. tickets from like bigger bands because they, you know, they saw like, oh, you know, this right. band brings energy. What, what this band would be like if we, you know, we go. You know, I felt like such a dick afterward. Though. I was like, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know, I know for a fact that Sam and I are going to come to you guys one one of you guys' shows, like. For a fact, we are, we had some of you guys play. He's in Louisiana, and I'm in Oklahoma City, but wherever you guys play, you guys are playing in any one of our cities, I'll make it a fact to go to Louisiana if you guys go there first. Or wherever you guys come in, I'll, I want to see it. Look, we only have seven minutes left. I want to play Barricades, Shoot. and then like we'll, and then I'll, right. give, I'll give Sam the last word on the loud spot. And so let's play Barricades real quick before this show's over. You got, I hope everyone loves these guys. These guys are just awesome. You guys are fun to talk to as well. I, I love it. I love it. Here we thank go. Thank you guys too, man. Thanks, dude. Here time. we go. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you.
before I give the last word to Sam on the loud spot, I do want to say one thing. I got to give, give a shout out to my homies and Nothing Short of Tragic for making our intro and our outro music. So shout out to Nothing Short of Tragic. All right, Sam, you're on the spot. I just want to say thank you again to uh, Silence the Voice for being on our show number one and putting out amazing song after amazing song and just killing it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for having us. <laughs> I wish yeah, we had we more time and everything for you guys. I wish we had more than 45 minutes to do a podcast with you guys. I mean, it's just fun talking to you guys. For sure. Like, I feel like we could make a two hour podcast just playing all their songs and talking to them. <laughs> yeah, I think that's <laughs> game. I, think I, don't, I don't know. After one hour, I started getting kind of a. Uh... I get I start getting kind of random. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we. I think we all do. Uh, that's more incentive. <laughs> Uh, we're going to be releasing a music video here shortly, so if you guys ever want to come on and talk about that after, yeah, absolutely. we're going to be... Yes, we do. Absolutely. Uh, it's going to be a new song, and it's going to be a cover song, actually, so it's going to be released this month sometime. All right, well, Mario, I got your phone number. I'm going to save it in my phone. Uh, Gabe, Mark, pleasure meeting you guys, talking to you. I know your drummer couldn't be here today. Uh, but he is young, and so we appreciate your time, and so thank you very much. Thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you. All right, yes, guys. Thank you for having us. Yep. Stay on. Stay. Stay on the. Stay on the Zoom call just for one more second, okay? All right. Episode is tragic. Twenty twenty. Mr. Eric Bone. All right, and stop. We are done with the podcast.